inflatable stand-up paddleboard just in time for summer. It's the Ride to Fly paddleboard. We review to you. We review the latest and greatest products, and when we're done, we give them away free to one lucky subscriber. We'll let you know at the end of this video how you can easily win this product. What's in the box? Out of the box? Well, actually the bag, and you've got the Ride to Fly stand-up paddleboard in its own backpack. Two mobile phone waterproof bags, one removable fin, two glasses ropes, one waterproof storage bag, one single double-headed paddle, one foot leash, one adjustable seat, one repair bucket, and one double-acting hand pump for inflation and deflating. The paddle board is made out of a premium PVC and features a D-ring to secure your foot leash, a non-slip EVA deck, grab handle, and a bungee cord nest to carry your gear and tools. Underneath, the detachable center fin can be removed during transport to protect against damage. Pumping up this paddle board isn't a walk in the park, so if you've got an electric pump lying around, give your poor arms a rest. While it's rated between 12 to 15 PSI, we'd recommend keeping it to the lower end at 12, particularly on hot summer days when the air inside is going to expand. When fully inflated, the Ride to Fly paddleboard stands 10.6 feet tall, weighs around 18 and a half pounds, and has a carrying capacity of 330 pounds. Using this adjustable clasp, you can switch out the single paddle handle for the second fin, for a kayak style paddle. Before you head out on the water, make sure you put your phone in one of the two waterproof cell phone pouches and any other gear in the 2.6 gallon included waterproof bag. This includes sunscreen, the repair bucket, wrench, and anything else you might need. It's designed so that even beginners can stand up in calm waters, but there's no shame in sitting back down. It can be used in lakes, ponds, or even open surf if you're brave enough. So, what do we like about the Ride to Fly paddleboard? Firstly, the cost. At $279, it's around half the price you'd pay for the same size paddleboard made out of fiberglass or solid foam. Secondly, it was surprisingly easy to use and felt super stable out on the water. And finally, the fact that it's inflatable means that you don't have to have a roof rack to take it with you on vacation. Everything fits neatly back into the travel backpack. So, what don't we like? The adjustable chair is pretty much useless. It offers no back support and can't be left on. You may need to buy an aftermarket seat if you plan on spending long hours out on the lake. Other than that, our only real complaint is that inflating with the hand pump can take a lot longer than expected. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do we score the Ride to Fly inflatable stand-up paddleboard? Are there better inflatable stand-up paddleboards on the market? Of course. And something like the Blackfin Model X, which is probably the best on the market right now, will set you back at around $900. The Ride to Fly paddleboard? It's a great way to get your feet wet without breaking the bank. We're giving it an 8 out of 10. So, how do you get your feet on one of these? Well, we've got a couple options for you. You can follow our purchase link that we've included in the description below and up in the top right, and pick one up for only $279.99, or you could enter the Review to You drawing and try to win ours for free. If you want to win one all for yourself, the rules are very simple. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then leave a comment with the hashtag we showed you in today's video. We then use a highly sophisticated random selector to choose our winner. Winners will always be announced right here on the channel at the conclusion of every month in our winners compilation video. This has been reviewed to you, where the only thing we love more than amazing gadgets is giving them away for free to you. Make sure to click that link up on the right to see our current review and giveaways. And then hit that link on the left to subscribe if you haven't already. From Matt and Gary, see you next time.